How to calculate cash from operating activities or CFOA using the indirect method. Let me take you through a short and simple example of how to construct a cash flow statement. This video covers the indirect method of cash flow reporting. A companion video will cover the direct method. When you use the indirect method, you start off with net income or net profit. You can find net income in the P&L, the profit and loss statement, which could also be called the income statement. It is the bottom line of the income statement. In this example, net income is 112. Next step in the indirect method is to look for any non-cash items in that P&L. In this example, the only non-cash item is depreciation, which is 20. Depreciation is the accounting process of allocating the purchase price of tangible assets to current expense. As you do not pay depreciation to anyone, but instead deduct the amount of depreciation from the P&E or fixed assets balance on the balance sheet, finance people would call this a non-cash item. You deduct the depreciation as an expense in order to report the correct amount of EBIT and profit before tax and calculate the correct amount of corporate income taxes. For cash flow purposes, you will have to add back that same amount of depreciation. If you review the annual report of a company listed on the stock market, you could come across other non-cash items that you need to adjust for, such as stock-based compensation. The next step in using the indirect method of cash flow reporting is to review the opening balance sheet of the year versus the closing balance sheet of the year. More specifically, you calculate the de deltas in working capital, the increases or decreases. If inventory goes up, then cash goes down. This is called a use of cash, of in this case 50. If receivables stay the same year over year, then there is no net impact on cash. If payables go up, then cash goes up. In a way, your supplier is partly financing your operation. This is called a source of cash, of in this case 50. Let's summarize the items we have found so far. In the indirect method of cash flow reporting, you start off a net, in net income of 112. You add back non-cash items such as depreciation of 20 and then list the changes in working capital. In this example, the total change in working capital is zero, but underlying to that is an increase in the inventory balance, which is seen as a cash outflow, and an increase in the accounts payable balance, which is seen as a cash inflow. Total net cash provided by operating activities is 132. To complete this example and build the full cash flow statement, let's look for any clues on the lines of cash from investing activities, CFIA, and cash from financing activities, CFFA. In this example, to keep things simple, nothing is happening in either of those lines. In real life, for a mature and successful company, there would probably be a cash, capex cash outflow in CFIA and a dividend cash outflow in CFFA. If you add up the three categories, cash from operating activities, cash from investing activities and cash from financing activities, you get to the net increase or decrease in cash. Please note that you have not yet completed the full cash flow statement. An important step is to check on the balance sheet what the amounts were of the opening cash balance and the closing cash balance. Opening cash was 60, closing cash was 192. The net increase or decrease in cash that you calculated should be the difference between these two balances. The last step in constructing your cash flow statement is to show just that. The net increase in cash of 132 plus the opening cash of 60 equals the closing cash balance of 192. Done! I have a lot of material available on the Finder Storyteller YouTube channel that can help you get a good understanding of the topic of cash flow and related items. For example, I have full walkthroughs for you of the cash flow statements of Shell, Tesla and Walmart. I think the best way to learn how to read a cash flow statement is to go through as many real life examples as you can. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this example of how to review a cash flow statement, then please press the like button for me and share it with friends and colleagues. On this end screen there are a few suggestions of videos you can watch next. Please subscribe to the Finance Storyteller channel and when doing so please hit the bell icon so you receive automatic notifications when I post new videos. Thank you.